Well, here's the scenario. I drove quite a ways on the ATV and scouted some new hunting grounds. When I got back to the ATV, it wouldn't start. At this point, I have to consider the possibility of building a shelter out here. This is not good. I drove quite a ways on the ATV and scouted some new hunting grounds. When I got back to the ATV, it wouldn't start. It's late in the day. It's pretty warm right now, but it's gonna be cold tonight, possibly rain a little later and then freeze. So at this point, I have to consider the possibility of building a shelter out here. This is actually a fairly common occurrence. People go out into the wilderness and they get lost or their vehicle breaks down or they get stranded on the highway, run out of gas, and then have to go off the highway into the wild. We're gonna look at how you build a shelter in a situation like this when you don't have a lot of time. The very first thing I wanna do is assess my personal condition. If I'm injured or sick, then I have to take extra care not to stress myself out and uh, take it easy and be sure that I can make it through the night. Make sure that you're addressing the needs that you have with this shelter. If it's summertime, then you don't have to worry so much about keeping warm. In a desert area, you're not gonna worry so much about sheltering yourself from rain. In this location, cold and rain are both considerations. I know the weather forecast. I checked it before I headed out. As I look for a shelter, I'm gonna consider three other things. The location, the situation, and the orientation of the shelter. Think of location as a many acre uh, area that you search in order to find where you're going to build your shelter. That's the location. Think of situation as where you're going to situate your shelter in the general location. So is it going to be out in the open? Is it going to be under a rock in a cave? Um, you're going to look for a natural overhang um, up against a wall of rocks, that kind of thing. That's situation. Once you've decided where you're going to do that, you're also going to consider Orientation. Do I want to orient my shelter so as to shelter me from prevailing winds? Where we wound up here is really not a bad location. I've got a stand of cedar trees up here, and there's some more cedars. Now those are nice because they'll give me some boughs that I can use to soften the bed a little bit and uh, insulate me from the ground. This is looking pretty good. Next thing we need to do is assess what materials we have on hand. Okay, so I've got whatever is in my everyday carry bag. We'll look at that in a little bit. Okay, so nice. I have a machete. Uh, this is a poncho, snack bar, and a can of sardines, both of dubious origin. If they were there all summer, then uh, I don't know how they've held up under the heat, but it's what we've got. A couple of first aid kits. Now let me just make sure that it is actually first aid material. Yeah, we have that. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, a couple of rags, a staple gun, a pair of scissors. That's weird. Okay, we have a water bottle that smells okay. This has pressure, that's a soda. Yeah, here's another soda. Yep, staples for the staple gun. Toolkit. Owner's manual, a pen split bolt, a pair of glasses. Nothing really interesting in there. I think that's about it. All right, well the next thing I'm gonna do is put my other glasses on. Right now, I wanna be sure I know where to put this shelter. This is interesting, we have some roofing tin here. So we're not that far from civilization. The truth of the matter is this is a simulation, right? You can actually hear traffic. The reality is that if I got stuck out here, 
I would walk to the road and flag down the first driver that came by. What we're illustrating here is building a shelter. So, you have to pretend. I thought this would look pretty good because this is gonna make it fairly easy for me to hang the poncho. This place is good enough and I could use it so I've identified a place that's gonna work for me. Um, but I'm gonna keep looking. This ground is very wet. Another thing is that while I thought this might be a nice uh, natural windbreak, the fact is I can feel all this cold air coming down, funneling down here. It's just drifting down slowly, but it is noticeable. And uh, that's gonna be awfully chilly. Let's keep moving. That spot right there is a possibility. These rocks, If I put a fire in this area, these rocks are going to heat up and radiate back some heat. That'd be nice. Okay, I, I like this spot. This is pretty good. I've got a nice, like a little bed, a nest right here. The ground is a good bit drier. You can see this is completely dry. This is our spot, okay? So, let's go ahead and Take a look and see what we have in the bag. Okay, so this is a nylon shell that's waterproof and breathable. That's a very good item to have. I've got a pair of gloves, something to keep my ears warm. I have a sheet, which is a shema. Oh, check this out, I've got a, okay. This hat is very cool for the show, but this one will keep my head warm. However, it's too warm right now. Spare t-shirt, ooh, this thing's great. This is wool. I can make a scarf out of it. <laughs> I know it looks goofy, but if it gets very cold, this is gonna help overnight. I'll put this on and then put this on over that. Got a flashlight, works. Also have a whistle. So if somebody comes around, if I hear some traffic or some hunters off in the distance, I can whistle for them. lighter. Let me tell you, this is one of your most important tools. Swiss Army knife, that's not really going to be relevant. 